Hello, hello, Sonic Blue here, and welcome to another edition of Blue's Reviews. And today is going to be actually a preview. The game's not going to be available until May the 30th, so this would be technically an episode of Blue's Previews, hence why there's a P in the parentheses. Sometimes it's a preview, sometimes it's a review, you get the picture. The game we're going to be playing today is called Devious Dungeon. And I'm kind of excited about this one. It's a 2D scroller, medieval type game where there's lots of bosses, lots of weapons, lots of upgrades, and lots of things to see and do. And for all of you Switch fans out there, this title will be appearing on the Nintendo Switch as well. First of all, got to send out a shout out. I'd like to send a shout out to the people of Ratalika Games for sending over this game for me to review and preview. Uh, preview, review, do a let's play on. Hey, who knows? So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into it. This is Devious dungeon. Okay, let's go windowed so I can get a good filming of it and play. It's got a happy tune too. Press A or S to continue. Okay, it's S. Oh, I get it. Controller key, keyboard key. Let's go to a new game. And... I guess S. There we go. As the story is told, dark times are upon Hilltop Castle. An ancient evil has awakened in the catacombs underneath the castle. Looks like a very happy dragon. Very happy. The king sends all of his men to destroy the evil lurking below. But the dungeon is deadly and is constantly shifting. What? Constantly shifting? Only a true champion will be able to save the day. Look at this dude! Man, he must be up to bench pressing tractors by now. Look at the look at the muscles on this dude. Damn. Okay, where am I? Okay, there I am. I want to kill the jester. King. Okay, well, I get worst gesture ever. <laughs> they are pretty bad. Okay, so purchase good from Olaf's shop. Well, I don't have anything, so yeah, let's. Get out of that, get out of that. I don't have any money. No, I don't have any money. Get out of here. I used to be an adventurer like you. Oh. It's like a portal or something. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what we got here. Tutorial. Okay, so A button is the sword, B to jump. Almost makes the Mario sound too when you get a coin. Oh, I see. Jump higher. Well, we already know all that stuff. I already know all that stuff. Swing your weapon. Yeah, I already know that. See, I'm way ahead of you on this one. Okay, typical video game logic. Press down and. Coins, coins, coins. Keep an eye on what? Hidden areas. Okay. If you get lost, open your map screen with Y. Or tap. There it is. Okay. I'm not lost. Okay, good. That's a new achievement. Dude, he just exploded into a bunch of pus and blood. Okay, got the key. Just jump up, up, and no. Oh, it's one of those ones where you can hardly control the jump. Yay! All right, well, I guess that's why there's a tutorial for this. There we go. All right, so tutorial done. Let's do this. Green dude, get out of my way. 
me my coins. Wow, what a great stress for the Oh, so that's what that noise is. Pulling back a bow. I thought somebody was taking a leak or something. Listen to the... If you didn't know that somebody was pulling back a bow, you'd swear somebody was taking a leak. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, so now I've entered 36, so... Nope, don't have enough for armor yet. I'm gonna have to go in nude. No, I don't have... I want to save more money. Those ones? No. I guess they belong to him. Alright. Let's do this. Level 1. I'm not quite the caliper of level... Hey, this is a different level 1 that I've seen. What is this? Never changing level? What is this? Give me some coins. Yeah, ah, you dummy. So I get the picture that I have to swing my sword a lot faster in order to stay alive. Okay, there's the key. Level up. I like that. Alright. And you get to choose upgrades. Alright. Oh, I got potions. There's a coin. Give me that coin. At least the coins don't disappear on you like in most video games do. They just run away from you. Oh, what? He got me from way over there? Well, at least they give you lots of opportunity to gain coins, and that's always a good thing. I just don't like that guy's long-range weapon. It doesn't seem like that's very long to do any damage. But, at least I got him. Okay, give me that coin. Up we go. Oh, what? That actually hit me! Oh, come on. Something tells me I should be going the other way and checking out the high road up there. Okay, so we learn now that the enemies do not respawn after you kill them. Oh, crap. Crap. That was a book there. I grabbed it, and then I died. All right. Let's hope I still have my experience. I think I do. Of course, it would be pretty daft to lose experience points because you died. Okay, so... This is... I'm, I'm going to have to be honest. This is a very nice touch. All the levels will be different layouts. Lesser chance of their, you know, learning a pattern. It's challenging every time. The obstacles are always going to be different. Game definitely has a challenge to it. It's once you get used to the awkward controlling, it's actually pretty fun. It's a nice stress reliever to run around and beat up enemies with your sword. It's no fun getting beat up though, but you gotta take the good with the bad, you know? I mean, that's... every video game has that. I just hope that there's, like, nothing like a pit of lava or spikes, a spike bed or something you can fall down into, because the control here is... kinda difficult to get used to at first. You'll be on... learning... learning how to do that as you go, but... So far, I'm liking it. Oh, sure, you had to stand right at the edge there. Can make me go all the way back up, climb all the way back down. There we go. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Wrong button. Wrong button. 
Mr. Long Range over here. Do some prime time money earning. Oh, you. S wow. Okay, just run right up to me, stick me with your sword, I'm done. Alright. Give me armor. 250? I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Combat hardness. Not very much, though. Doesn't really do much for me. That's a hundred. Rusty sword. That's what I have. A rusty sword. A wooden club is 250. I could have gotten a wooden club. Damn. You can buy amulets and stuff like that. I guess for magic purposes, maybe. We'll find out. We'll find out. It's very difficult for me to get past level 1, though, but I'm still just starting out this game, so... Okay, I hear somebody pulling back in a bow. Where is it? At least you can hear that somebody nearby does have a bow and arrow, so you know to prepare and what to watch out for. Nice touch, but... Like I said, when you first came playing, you never suspect it was somebody with a bow and arrow. You'd think somebody was taking a leak in the bathroom. Or on the floor. Bad dog. Anyway. Okay. Okay, I wanted to kill a skeleton first. And why is it always in every video game I've ever seen the skeletons are always archers? I mean, why couldn't it be in Diablo where they just like gang rush you with a bunch of swords then that's Diablo all right okay I need more stamina give me stamina give me that book I'll take it Okay, well, you're going that way, so... There we go. Okay, what was that ruby? That's gotta be some major treasure, because I have never seen a ruby like that before. Oh! Did I pass level one? I passed level one. Now I'm on level two. All right. I like how you can stand below and above the enemies and still get them. like that. Oh, oh, landed right on top of him, so this ain't like Mario where you can squash him. But you can attack enemies from above and below, so that's always good. At least they give you that little leeway. Okay, there's a bow and arrow archer up there. Yeah, you can get them from above and below, but then again, so can they. So keep that in mind, folks. Oh, sh shoot. No, you killed me last the first time. No. Oh, see? Spike bed. I knew it. I knew it. Did I call it, folks? A spike bed. There has to be a spiked bed. Or a bed of lava. Lava's probably going to be next. I bet you there's a lava level. You can hold me to that, too, because I bet you all video games like this have lava levels. Okay, I need more strength. Give me more strength. Alright, level two done. Level three. Let's do it. There's that spike bed. Okay. No, you don't. Well, I guess the more you play it, the more used to the control you get, so... When you're first time playing this, or first few times playing this, don't, see, don't be surprised you can't get the controls down right, but you will get used to it. I'm getting used to it now. Timing. Also have timing. Timing comes into play 
Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Nope, okay. Remember what I said about the control? Yeah, forget what I said. Forget what I said. Forget anything about control. Ah, see? See what I mean? Especially on those smaller platforms. Oh, crap. I know what that is. There you are. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but could have been worse. Come on down, slug. All right. Okay. One thing I didn't notice, the sword is continuous fire, so holding down the button will allow you to sh Damn. Will allow you to do that faster. Oop, wrong button. Oh, yeah, jump right in the spike bed. Yeah, that's always fun. Oh, yeah, do it again. There it is. Okay. And now I'm here. All right. Let's see what weapons I can grab. A wooden club. I need something better than a rusty sword. And a leather armor for 300. No. Amulet? of will. Amulet of will. Oh, so I have to, uh, uh, okay. So I have to unlock amulets. So I have to buy amulets in order to unlock the next one. 125 for the amulet of life. That sounds good to me. I need all the life I can get. Now the rings. Copper ring. I just have enough for a copper ring. Don't know what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's out of more protection. Alright, let's do this. Let's get on out of here. I want to fight, man. I want, I want blood and guts in my teeth. Give it to me. Let's go back up here. Oh, whoa. Okay, there's the portal. Ah, potion. Thank you. I love potions. Give me potions. Okay, I'm not going over there until I know what's over there. Damn, that club took him out in one hit. I love it. <laughs> Alright. Jump, jump, jump like your life depends on it. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna fall too fast. I wanna I, I wanna see what's I'm falling down into. Like one of those spike beds. I don't want that. Okay, now how am I gonna get back up? Oh man, no! Ho ho! Enemy slain 38, levels cleared four, mission complete four, cash bonus 156. Good. At least they're willing enough to give you a cash bonus. Okay. Let's buy that other ring, the silver ring. Okay, what's next? I guess it'll show me when I get there. Alright. Get that extra amulet later. That's 59. Let's do one more run through. What? I did not say anything. One more run through. And then I'll give you my review. Level 4. Alright, so now you can select the level 4 portal. I see how this works. Okay. Alright. Alright, get that coin. Got it. Uh, yeah, when you land on the smaller platforms, you kind of need to stop walking. There we go. You really have to time your jumps, though, especially on these little tiny platforms. Okay. Want those coins? Okay, 
Jump up, jump up, jump up. That's all for this area. Let me get that other coin that fell down here. There it is. Now proceeding onward and outward. Oh, a secret! I found a secret, folks! I didn't know. Wow, I found. A there are secrets in this game. Oh, boy. Okay, that's gonna make things very interesting because. Let me tell you a little story. When I was in my NES days playing Legend of Zelda. I spent weeks and months and weeks and months looking for every single secret possible. If this game has a lot of secrets in it, and, remi and reminder, there is no strategy guide on this. And I don't think there's a walkthrough on uh, IGN games or anything, but... Maybe not yet, anyway, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. There we go. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, got the key. Let's get out of here. Oh, here we are. That was easy. Level up, let's go dexterity. I need dexterity. There's something about slamming. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should kill all enemies before I start speaking again. There we go. You know, something about slamming a big wooden club at enemies and, you know, metal chalices containing treasure. There's something rewarding about that sound it makes. Especially when you nail the treasures. Clang, clang, clang. That, that's, that's rewarding to me. Very rewarding. Oh, how do we get up there? Okay, I see. Okay, don't chase that one. It's in the spike bed. Okay, yeah. Mental note on this one, too. If you hold down your weapon key and you walk, you have to turn around and then continue. Okay. Mental note. Very well taken. Okay. No, I don't feel safe about going down into the spike bed to get coins. No, thank you. I want to stay alive and get to the next level. Nope, that's where I started. Okay, there it is, but I have the key. Do I not have the key? I have the key. Oh, no, I don't have the key. It's over there. I thought I grabbed the key. I guess I didn't. I guess I was in the previous level. Let's go grab the key then. So when I saw it, it was... Oh, crap. I gotta go down this way now. I guess so. Nailed it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, that coin can stay in the spike bed for all I care. I don't care. I okay, will grab these ones. Uh, okay, I'll grab that one too. I will have to admit, though. This game is a very nice stress reliever. It's very rewarding. The sound effects are awesome. The music can get pretty repetitive, though. I will give it that. The music score can be repetitive. Ah, 
Okay. Didn't know if I should have turned around or if I just kept swinging. Just kill it. That's all. Just kill it. That's the logic there. Doesn't matter what direction you're facing, just kill it. I like that it gives you a little leeway. If your back is turned toward the enemy, you can still get them. I like that they give you that leeway in hit detection. Whoa! He shot me in my ass! Did you see that? He shot me in my ass! Just what I need, an arrow sticking right out my butt. Of course, that would be difficult to explain to the doctor. You whirl into the hospital with his arrow sticking out of your ass and be like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're never gonna believe this. Your doctor's like, yeah, you're probably right. I'm never gonna believe this. And I don't want to know, okay? I don't want to know what goes on in your life, but please <laughs> let me get this arrow before it kills you. There's the key. And now to find the portal. There it is. Alright, this is really fun, folks. I can't get enough of this game. Okay, 511. Let's see what I can get. Let's get an upgrade to our armor. I need that. Uh, so wait a minute now. When you die, do you lose all your items and have to repurchase them? Apparently not. Okay, so Amulet of Life. I'll take that. Okay, do I have enough for a ring? No, I don't. Okay. Weapons. Wooden club, which is already equipped. Steel sword, 300. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on that. Let's... Is there a way I can save? Quest stats can you... Is this autosave? Let me see. Does this got kind of autosave? Okay, it just saves the options here. Okay. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll go, I'll go until I get the next game over. How's that? Next game over, we'll stop, I'll do a review, give you my score, and send you on your merry way. This is level 7. Oh, crap! Oh, axe-wielding maniac. Oh, great, just what I need. Would help if I turned the right way, but... Oh, ow! Let's hit the right button, shall we? Oh, golly! Talk about a challenge! 132 challenge. Okay, so! It should have an autosave, but let's just see if it did autosave. It does. Look at that. Last played, level 6, money 221. So you just select that. S. We arrive in King's Court. Let's look at our inventory, or map. That's our map. We don't have an inventory screen, do we? Okay. Uh, let me see. Stats, quests. Let's see what the stats are. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Strength, stamina 23, dexterity 7. I think it saved everything, all your stats and everything, so... And then continue to get back into the game. Okay. All right. Well, folks, that was Devious Dungeon on the Steam Network, soon to be released for the Nintendo Switch. What a great game. Fantastic. Okay, so this game co will cost you $19.99, a whole whopping $19.99. But, folks, it is worth it. 
It's really fun. It's got lots of replay value. The levels keep changing every time you go in. There's never the same level twice, never the same type of enemies twice. Well, maybe the same type of enemies, but you get the right picture. It's a different game every time you play it, even though you're on the same level. It takes you a little while to get worked up to a comfort zone, but all games are like that, if you ask me. Um, music... That's the only downfall. That's the only reason why I don't give this a perfect five stars across the board. The music is very repetitive and can be quite annoying. But let me tell you, the whole game and replay value, it keeps me hooked, lined, and sinkered in, ready for another round. And it's very satisfying to run through levels, beat up enemies, dig out treasure. It's, what can I say, four and a half stars out of five. Four and a half stars out of five is what I give Devious Dungeon, and many thanks to Radalika Games for sending me this game for to, to preview. And remember, folks, this game will be available on Nintendo Steam. Nintendo Steam. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> That's a blooper moment. So remember, folks, this game will be available on Nintendo Switch as well, and start looking for this title around May 30th. That's all I have time for today's Blues Review slash Previews because today was actually a preview day. So, like I always say, keep smashing those buttons, keep mashing those buttons. You never know where it might take you. Thanks for tuning in. This is Sonic Blue for Blues Reviews, Previews, and see you next time.